What's up everybody? Today we're going to talk about how to improve your footwork, your off the dribble shooting, and your ball handling at the same time. Have you ever been in a situation where your footwork was a little bit too slow, either on defense or offense, or even just making quick moves when handling the ball to get up the court? And not only that, are you struggling with your off the dribble shooting after you've made a good move to get into a shot? I've combined three simple areas within one drill that allow you to work on all three of those things at once. Now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification right now. So for the first drill, we're gonna have three sequences within one drill. For the first sequence, we're gonna do line jumps with two feet going over the line, starting from the half court line all the way up until about the volleyball line. You can also put a cone there if you wanna ensure that you're going from half court line to a stopping point for only doing the two foot line to line or line jumps. After you get done with your two foot line jumps, now we're gonna go into quick dribbling with crossovers. This is gonna help improve your crossovers, staying low and also making quick moves either through a crossover through the legs or behind the back. After you get done with your, your crossovers for the first sequence, now you're gonna get into your off the dribble shooting and that completes the first sequence. The second sequence, instead of doing two feet line jumps, we're gonna work on right foot only going over the line, still going between those lines that we indicated between the half court line and the cone that we put there. And then instead of going crossovers on the cones, now we're gonna work on our through the legs movements or ball handling. And then after we come out of our through the legs cone work, we're still gonna work on our off the dribble shooting. For the third sequence, same thing, but now instead of using the right foot, we're gonna use the left foot. And then instead of doing the crossover and the through the legs, now we're gonna work on going behind the back within the cones, still staying low, still keeping our eyes up, making quick movements. And then we're still finishing oh. with the off dribble shooting. No matter if you're doing the first, the second, or the third sequence, we're gonna make sure we're doing this hard, staying low, eyes up. This is a tough drill because it's combining multiple things in one. It's working on your conditioning, your footwork, your ball handling, and your shooting. So get a lot of reps in and be effective. After you have completed the three sequences within the first drill, now you wanna complete those same sequences on the left side of the floor. Starting with that initial two feet line jump, getting into the crossover through the cones, and then also working on your off the dribble shooting. And then get into that second sequence, which is the right foot line jump, going through the cones, through the legs, and then finishing with the off the dribble shooting. And then the third sequence, which is working on your left foot line jumps, get into behind the back cone work, and then working on your off the dribble shooting. For the right side and the left side, you wanna make sure you're getting about five to 10 reps on each side. So after you do sequence one, two, and three, consider that one rep, and you wanna work on getting up to five to 10 reps. The more reps you do, the more opportunity you have to get better, the more you improve your conditioning, and then you have also more opportunities to get more shots in and score. So when doing each sequence, you have to be mindful of these things of not to do. So when you're doing your line jumps, you wanna make sure that your footwork is close to the line without touching it. You don't wanna make wide, big jumps and long. We wanna be quick, close to the ground, less time off the ground as possible, keeping the ball above our head, eyes up if possible. It's okay if you look down, but make sure that you're getting ready for your next drill. Once you get to your cone work, key thing, you wanna make sure that you're keeping your hand on top of the ball, you're not carrying it, and the ball is not in your hands for a long period of time. We're working on quick dribbles, quick taps, pushing the ball to the floor quick with a pound dribble and moving through them so we can get to our off the dribble shooting. One thing that I see a lot of players do before they get into their off the dribble shooting, they take long, slow steps and they also take a long time to get into their shot, eventually losing the opportunity to even shoot the ball, right? So as you come out your cone work, I want you to work on getting that ball quickly to the ground, quick stabs, one, two, either left, right, if you're on your right side, or right, left, if you're on your left side, and then quickly get into your shot. And lastly, follow your shot and get back to the next rep. 
that's important. Now that we have went through, talked about the drill, and also showed you how to do the drill, now it's an opportunity for you to go out and execute. If you wanna have access to this full workout, click the link in the description so that you can access it. And if you have any questions or comments or even concerns, feel free to reach out to me and I'll respond as quickly as possible. Now let's get to work.